It's completely mounted into the CP871 press. You'll notice here's the dive box and then also as far as on the reel of product you'll notice there's the part number. Okay. Then as you go down it actually says what dies to use with these with this product. Okay. So again CD9-4A is going to be the dies that we're using with the CA9 applicator. So here's our CA9 dies. Okay, they come in a uh, plastic box which you should re retain to keep the dies in there. And what you want to do is open up the die box. Okay, take this foam insert, slide it back. And then the dies, the upper crimp and the upper cutter die come with a protective coating on them so they don't, uh, like I say, don't get dinged or nicked as far as. Okay, again, when you have to, after receiving the dies, when you open the box, take the protective coating off the upper crimp die and the upper cutter die and then also the lower die piece out of the die box. Okay. First of all we'll install the lower die piece and to do that all you need to do is line up the lower die in the lower die area of the applicator okay. and then like I say what we're going to do is lift this feed finger and move it forward and as we start installing the lower die piece, what we're going to do is just lift this piece and set it into the track here. Like so. And then as far as when you're tightening, all you need to do is finish tightening the lower die screw and then you want to push down to make sure that this stop plate on the front of the lower die is sitting flush on the base of the applicator. Again, we're tightened. Our lower dies are now installed. As far as for your upper dies, it is recommended to put a, um, a molly type grease on the face and sides of the upper crimp die. So what you want to do is just put a little bit of on the, both faces, front and back and also the sides. Okay, and again just a light light film. Okay, and then what we'll do is install the upper crimp die like so. And again you want to make sure you're set on the E5 setting which is which just marks on the reel. Okay. E5 setting the reel is right. The initial setting. There. So the crimp die okay. section. And then again we've got our upper crimp die in. Now we're going to install our upper cutter die. So we'll take and just set it flush like this. And what I do is just slide it up to where it hits the E5 rings. Yeah. Push it up and hold it with your thumb. And then tighten your upper die screw. Okay. And now your dies are installed correctly. How do you know which way that die goes in? Was there a front or a back? You always want to make sure you have the color-coded dots and the writing on the, the die facing out towards you.